We're here in the WAMDA studio with Judith McHale, who's the Under Secretary of State for Public Diplomacy and Public Affairs. And we just came out of a fantastic panel that Judith was on about the role of women, female entrepreneurship in the, in the Levant, in the Gulf, in, in the Arab world in general, and what we can do to empower female entrepreneurs. So coming out of that session, I just wanted to ask you, Judith, more about um, one of, the, one of the points that you made during the session that I thought was particularly interesting was that you were saying that while you were the CEO of Discovery, um, you enacted change to create benefits for women and did not wait for government legislation. Um, here in the Middle East, where a lot of people like to point to the government as the primary force holding them back, what do you think women can do to enact change themselves? I, I think the important the point that I was trying to make when when I talked about that was that there's a lot that we can do ourselves that sometimes you can become um, you can look around you and become almost paralyzed and resistant to change because you wonder uh, if, if I see things going on about me can I actually do it and there's really an enormous amount you can do yourself what I was talking about particularly in the workplace was we at Discovery noticed a lot of things that our employees wanted and needed. And it began with a discussion within the company, and it was a partnership. And yet, the, the sort of, and the impact of organizations and individuals doing that over time is you can actually bring about change uh, in society. You find that you're piloting new ways of working together, and others will see that, and slowly but surely, you can begin to make change. So don't stand on the sidelines and wait for people to do things for you, there's a lot that you can do yourself. So you have to have the internal will to make change on yeah. your own. And confidence, yeah. And how much of that came basically because you were the CEO as a woman? I mean, do we need to basically have women in CEO positions? I, I you know, I, I, there, I think there are probably many men, C, male CEOs who look at that. I think it probably helped that I was a woman. I had had experience earlier in my career where I didn't have those opportunities. Um, and so I knew what it was like, and um, having experienced that myself, I felt that I understood the problems and how could we address it. But let me say at Discovery, I had a lot of support from our male colleagues. They understood that working together, we would be able to make those kinds of changes. And how did you sell that to them in terms of the bottom line? Um, one of the things that we had to do, I believe we should do it because it's the right thing to do in terms of the way you treat people who work for you, the way you treat yourself, frankly. I think it's incredibly important to do that. Um, but if you're in a business environment or, frankly, if you're uh, in a government environment, it is necessary, I think, to show people not only is it the right thing to do, it's the smart thing to do. Um, and so we basically put together a business case. And we showed and demonstrated that our employees would be more productive if we gave them more flexibility about where to work, when to work, provided them the support they needed to balance their lives. Mothers and fathers, may I say, giving them the benefits of being with their, going to their kids' schools, or frankly, even uh, employees who didn't have kids but might have had family issues with their parents and others, that employees are actually much more productive if you do that. Um, and I've also done a lot of research on it, and you, there's a lot of um, information which demonstrates that companies in America who actually employ, uh, have these kinds of policies are more productive and perform better. And I think it basically comes back to um, how you treat people. They're gonna, you're gonna, if you have that bargain and that partnership, you'll work together to achieve good results. Having made the case, we then had to deliver on it. Um, and again, it was that sense of partnership with our employees. And in Discovery's case, we delivered, we probably over-delivered on that. So you could point to solid data yeah. and say, we've outperformed our expectations because of this exactly. model. And I think it's important when people are looking at that, if they, whether it's their own company and they're dealing with their boards of directors or, or just themselves and how they are looking at it, you can also look around and find other companies or organizations that have done similar things that can be good role models for you. I see, I see. Good. Um, another, another issue that came up in the panel was people talking about how the biggest factor that's holding women back is actually not government legislation, but just a sense of internal valuation. Um, 
How do you think in the Middle East that people can work to change this in women, to kind of change their inner sense of self on a basic level? And then on the flip side, as the Under Secretary of State for Public Diplomacy, what do you think the government can do, especially the U.S. government? You know, what is its agenda? I found that a fascinating part of the, uh, of, of the discussion that we were having. Um, and it's something which is not, frankly, unique to the Middle East, but you find women all over the world um, for, for probably a lot of different reasons, social reasons, historic reasons, sometimes um, uh, are not in, don't value themselves enough and, they, and their ability to succeed. And whether it's inherent in our nature or not, it's a reality. And I thought that was very interesting, that conversation. And I think it's important, um, one of the... Uh, folks in the audience talked about you have to value yourself. It has to, to start with yourself. You have to understand what it is you want, you have, what it is, your, what your contribution and what you want. And if you can do that and have confidence in yourself, you will be able to succeed and achieve. And I think there are many ways that uh, governments and societies are beginning to address that issue from education uh, issues and other things as well. And so I think we're on a path going forward uh, and hopefully we'll be able to do that. From our government's perspective, and one of the reasons why we're interested not just in this, uh, um, on, uh, in the concept of entrepreneurship, but basically finding ways in this very interconnected world in which we operate to have people have opportunities to meet, to share ideas, for me to meet with the, uh, with young women entrepreneurs in um, uh, Dubai and to talk to them about my experience as a, as a woman. And it, it's amazing how much uh, we have in, in common. And I think President Obama has been very clear, and Secretary Clinton from the beginning of the administration, they understand the power and the strength of us finding opportunities to work together to face some of the challenges um, that we face in common. If we can find ways uh, to work together, we're going to be better and stronger. If we can find ways to share information, we will have more productive economies and hopefully deliver a more peaceful and prosperous future. And this is part of what we're doing. I mean, the, the excitement in this conference is extraordinary. And it's all about people getting together meeting people they may have known, meeting people they never knew before, learning about each other and learning from each other. And I think this is something we're very committed to doing. So basically the ultimate currency we're dealing in is trading success stories, just giving yeah. women stories that are going to empower yeah, them. Yeah, and I think not even just success stories. I think, frankly, you learn a lot from people's failures and mm. from people's stumbles and from people's challenges. And if you listen to people and, you can, and, and sharing problems and coming together to solve problems, I think you can learn a lot together. You have new uh, friends and, and colleagues that will help you as you go forward. What we hope well beyond this conference um, and to be able to harness the energy in this conference, um, I think is an incredible thing. Yeah, well, to that end, I'd love to see more women on the site on WAMDA, so hopefully they will sign up. Um, Terrific. Thank, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks. Thanks.